I need kellets. I need more kellets. I'm not getting kellets. Oh, I'm stinked. I'm gonna die. Hey guys, my name is Komasan. Welcome to a game called Split Second, a Ultimate Class Night esque game, which we have a bunch of kellets to survive against. Today, we're gonna be playing two of these games uh, this game and Goals, Goals Night Out or something, Goals Boss or something like that. When we get to the game, I would say the name. But this game is pretty interesting. I've been meaning to play this game for a while. Uh, it looked, ha it had a sort of charm to it with the art style. But let's just go over to the characters and let's just play the game. So, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe because it helps out a lot. Okay, so Jeb, he will go to a random spot on the map and sometimes appear in the office. When he does, turn off your office lights until he goes away. So pretty easy. We got Morty Jed. Morty Jed, that's an interesting name. It will take a set path to your office. When he arrives, turn the lights off and hold your flashlight on his eyes till he goes away. We got Steve. He sits inside a cage in the carrot patch. Occasionally, he will bang on said cage, hold the cage shut until he calms down. Mothra. The seal start in camera 2 and move towards the camp 7 well. Use the UV lights built into the cameras to low hole around the farm. You can't low hole once once he reaches the camp 7. So. If once he reaches Cam 7, we're basically dead, so we don't want to do that. And we got the cave. It starts in Cam 1 and moves to your office. When they arrive, stare at them with the lights on to make it leave. Don't stare at them on the cameras for too long, or else you'll be caved. Go to the carrot patch to be uncaved. Then we got both Blitz and Betty, they're both rabbits. Both will try to feed carrots from the patch during the night. Blitz moves across the camera. Betty sits in the office. They will both become problematic if you don't feed them. So we just gotta feed the rabbits. It doesn't seem that hard. Maybe on a harder difficulty, but... Other than that, not hard. And we got Gerald. His head will appeal sometimes when putting the monitor down. Put it up or turn the lights off before his eyes glow. Okay, so that's pretty easy to deal with. And we got Stinky. So I, I, I was curious about this thing. It's like a piece of poop or something. He will sit on your desk and will leave every now and then. Fight him on the cameras before he fills up your room with supreme stink, leaving you immobile. So we gotta find this guy and get him off before he stinks up the place. So that's pretty bad. But let's just start off. We're just gonna pick three. We're just gonna pick the four rows so we can uh, do this deal with them one by one. So it's easier to understand and you know collectively be better at this game. So we're gonna put the four well on tame because there is more difficulty options. But I'm not good at this game. So let's just do this and let's just begin the game. So here's the game, guys. And I forgot about the things I had to deal with. So we got the banana dude, and we got you. We gotta worry about that lady mostly. This is very problematic. Not a UV light. And she's there. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. And this music goes pretty hard, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It, it's really good. This music is a bit loud, though. It's very hard to kill the gameplay. With the noises and stuff. So maybe turn it off. Hold that down to hold the ball down. I don't know the board's name. I don't think we have to look at any of the... Okay. Look at your eyes. Okay, that's got me. Okay, we both dealt with them. That was easy. Okay, that kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie. That was very scary, but uh, a lot of stuff going on. I wish I knew the animatronics' names a little bit better. We don't really need to do anything to the carrots. I think the only I think the only problem some things is gonna be dealing with the two banana guys. Other than that, it's gonna be pretty easy. And that phantom guy hasn't appeared yet. Okay, there was the banana. This Jeff, I think his name is. UV lights. Gotta keep our camp too. Overall, it's only 2 a.m., so we're doing pretty well. I think the night's all uh, like three minutes long or something. There's the phantom guy. Okay, the banana got the crap out of me. Okay, jeez. That guy really gets you. I hate phantom kelters. They always like jump scare you, man. They always give you a heart attack when they feel. The banana guy should be close, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there she is. It's 4 a.m. Night's going slow. There's a banana. There's Jeff. Wow. See you later, Jeff. I wonder if he's high in potassium since he is a banana. He is a living banana, so maybe he's pretty good to eat. I don't know, guys. Yeah. 5 a.m. Just pretty easy. Pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. But the level uh, animatronics are going to be very scary. I guess I shouldn't call them animatronics. They're more characters. Because not every fan game has animatronics. And that guy is pretty annoying. The Phantom. Oh. He's on camera. Okay, I didn't know he could appear on cameras. That's good to know, actually. But the night should be almost over. And the night's over. I survived. Okay, that was pretty easy, guys. But let's do the other animatronics now. Or characters. The cave, the rabbits, uh, Jared, and Stinky. So these guys should be pretty easy. Except for cave. Cave is very annoying to deal with. But let's do this. This shouldn't be that hard. So we got these rabbits we got to find on the, in our office. 
and into camas, and we gotta feed them kelwitz, or they will kill us. So, it should be pretty easy. But you really don't need to look at the camas now, since we don't got that one animatronic. But we do need to get more kelwitz. Okay. Okay, go heal. Okay, so they, this is what I'm talking about the cave, guys. It's he's very really annoying. And wait, so we gotta find stink, guys. Just stink. That cave is annoying. Okay, we gotta go find uh, the poop. <laughs> we gotta go find the poop. Gotta be fast. We would know when it makes a noise on the camera. Okay, there it is. Mouse, go there. Okay. But it's not that hard. It's it's not hard at all. But the cave is very, very annoying. I do not like the cave. Somebody needs to go close that cave down, man. It's gonna kill everybody. Okay, the cave the cave can actually go in your office, by the way, guys. So we just gotta sell at him and he will be gone. So it's not hard to deal with, but it is pretty scary when you see the cave. I'm seeing cave a lot. Feed you. Feed you. Okay, we are doing decently well. Okay, the poop moved. We're gonna go find the poop. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Okay, there it is. Okay. It sets a funny sound indicator to where it is. Okay, don't look at the cave. I really hate the cave. Who knew I would hate a cave so much, guys? A newfound hatred is made. It's gonna be that hard. Oh, the poop moved. Gotta go find that stinking poop. Okay, there it is. Okay, we gotta go look over here. Oh, okay. Double whammy of cave. Okay, you jerk. Get out of here. I don't want to deal with you. Phantom guy. There's a lot of Kelly so we're doing decently with that. The poop has moved. It's always funny doing saying that. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's always funny saying that. I have humor of a five-year-old. <laughs> it's done now. Okay, we survived with all that going on. So, that was not too shabby. But let's try everybody at the same time so things could get a little bit quick way but we should be able to do it i think i should be able to do it then after this we can go into the next game for the this video okay let's begin so this is everybody on right now so maybe looking at camera two so, this is kind of stressful i'm not gonna lie guys shut up shut up shut up okay I need kelwitz. I need so much kelwitz. Feed you. Okay. Easy peasy. I need kelwitz. I need more kelwitz. I'm not getting kelwitz. Oh, I'm stinked. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, I forgot about the dang poop. Okay. I don't know what you said, dude. But at least there's no jump scares. So we just gotta remember about the poop, guys. And we should be set. He wouldn't- he would've guessed I would've gotten killed by a poop. That's kinda of stupid sounding. <laughs> this guy is so annoying to deal with. Okay. Did I shine off my lights? My key binds are getting messed up. Okay, we gotta go look at the cameras. Okay, there's a poop. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. Not that bad! Where's the other web at? I gotta feed you. Oh, y'all. Okay. Things are getting pretty crazy. It's only 2 a.m. But it's not that crazy, surprisingly. Oh, your stupid face. Come on. Okay. There's a lot of things going on. Oh, yeah, but it's gotta look at you. Okay. I gotta go find that other wabbit. There's your wabbit, dude. Okay. Uh, my brain. My brain's becoming mush. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, God. The lights or the reflection of me in your blood? We did decently, guys. So let's go on to the next game. Okay, guys, here we are in the second game, and it's like the same as the last game, but with more animatronics and different mechanics at play. So let's just go over the animatronics yet again and see what they do. So first we got swing, so you will head to your left or right hall, close the door on hall until she leaves. So she's like Bonnie Chica, you know, the typical FNAF character, okay? FNAF one character. The shark, she will enter your office, ignoring your door. Is shark to get rid of her? So pretty easy. 
uh, Swave, take a picture of whole one sees in your camera. The camera sees on will be marked. So not that complex. Cam, see what randomly appear on the left or right hall. Click the top hat button and see which, uh, select what hall she's in. So we're just gonna see what hall she's in. See, we'll be there. Neku, whole temple will slowly take down. Make sure to regularly use the refill button on the camera sees on to reset it. I think regularly spelled wrong there. Just FYI to the cradle. Adal. Future, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, she will appear in your office when the camera's up. Click on hold before she kills you. So pretty easy to deal with. And boat and tumble bot. So tumble bot likes to follow Tart around. Make sure to move Tart out, out of the womb. It's in when border bot moves. Okay, so that's pretty simple, I'm guessing. D dub, when she's in your office, shock or she's slower than shock, but we will move around in the office. Which could be very annoying because if we miss a shock, we could potentially die. And D total. She close the door on home when she gets to the hall. She is slow with the swing, but makes no audio cue. So we have to be actually checking up the cameras to make sure she doesn't kill us. So if you notice, every character is a uh, lady. So except for I think one of these people right here, because they were pretty gender neutral with them. But we're gonna be trying out this game too, just like the last game, and see what animatronics we can actually do. After I try out each one of these animatronics, we're gonna be doing them all on the same. Thing, but this game doesn't have like the normal typical they actually have levels and the max level is 45 and I'm not doing that if I can't beat 1020 I can't beat uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 45 I can't I can't do that so we're just gonna be trying out each of the Keltos on 10 but I'll meet you guys when we're actually in the game okay let's begin okay so everybody's on 10 by the way the hill is the game. So we just gotta very we just gotta watch these cameras. So it's gonna be that hard. We just gotta pay attention to what color one of the Keltos is because she uh, needs the top hat button. But other than that, it's pretty easy. We gotta time on the top. Tell how long the night is. Okay, that is white hall. Okay, the refill button. Okay, we gotta just gotta watch out for that. I don't think what ourselves. Okay. Uh, flash you. Wait. That's that. Okay, there you go. Shock you. Okay, that was easy to deal with, actually. I'm not gonna lie. But the camera is flicking out. It's left camera for a hole. I don't know the name, so sorry about that. There was a lot of characters in these games, so it's very hard to keep track of all of them. But this game is very nice. Same with the other game. I really like the art style of the game. And you gotta blast that. Okay, you're no trouble. And I just gotta close the door on you. And you're gone. Okay, so we just gotta shock that animatronic. Black character. It should be easy to deal with. Okay, she is in my office, shock hole. She is gone. Okay, that is white hallway. And she's gone too. Double trouble. I'll get eliminated. We really just have to look at two cameras, to be honest, and potentially three. That's left hall. Also, it's a good indicator that this thing right here tells us where our camera is. Flash you. I like the... It's, it's kind of silly if the computer has she has. It's kind of funny. Also, by the way, guys, this is the same Quaidle that made uh, Too Many Nights. So, this is another game that uh, the Quaidle made, which I like. This game's pretty cool. And also, it's one of the hardest FNAF uh, fan games, by the way. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it, because there's a lot of hard games out there. That normal character that acts like Bonnie Chica is not appealing. I wonder what she's doing. She's just standing in that hallway. I, it's Oh! I win! Let's go, okay. We did it, so we just did the top row, and now let's do the bottom row, and then combine all of them together. I don't know how long the night was, I wasn't really paying attention, maybe three minutes long or something like that. Not that long, personally, it's way faster than the other game, it feels like. But let's turn all these guys on 10, and let's deal with them too. Really have to check cameras two times, okay, this seems pretty easy. I just have, a, I'm waiting about D-Dub, cause she, she's very annoying, I did play test this before actually making this video, and She's annoying, like she moves so fast, so we just gotta get lucky if the well she lands or oh, else we're gonna die. But it shouldn't be that hard. We just gotta really pay attention to um this person. We just gotta put that person down. Uh I don't know the pronouns, so sorry about that. And we just gotta pay attention really to the cameras, and if that some demon appeals, uh just gotta move this character away, and we should be fine. And sometimes a monster appears in our office, and we just gotta click on hole. Okay, that's the demon. We don't want that demon, though. You see that's demon, guys? It's very scary. Click on that. I think she does not really help in this game, by the way, if you guys can tell, because, uh... There's a lot of lady characters. <laughs> but it's not that bad. That demon's scary, though. Holy crap. Okay, the demon's over there now. Let's just switch that. It's a little 
Okay, click on that demon. See, he's very scary, but good thing we can see indicator. Okay, close that. Okay, so the shocking portion is about to come in. We're going to see how aggressive and insane they are. Because they are pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. Nothing's really happening. The demon's still there, just bugging out, tweaking. Okay, so that's how the animatronic, uh, the Kelter goes. So they uh, appear very fast and they move a lot. And on higher AI, the faster she is. So it gets pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. But, okay, we got to close the door. Oh, she's a ghost. Okay, that makes sense why she makes no noise now. Okay, that's very, very small uh, detail. And by the way, this game has no jump scares. So if you don't like jump scares, there you go. It's very nice, actually, because I don't want to be jump scared half the time when I'm playing a game. So it's sometimes nice to play a FNAF fan game that doesn't actually have to deal with jump scares. Click on you. Yeah, pose for me. Doesn't matter, you're going to get shocked still. There's three minutes right now, so the nights are pretty long still. There is an aggressive mode that makes every animatronic, like, every character different. So that could be pretty, pretty problematic. And we did the night. Okay, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Now let's turn on every character on 10, and let's just deal with the mayhem. This game's gonna get so intense. There's so much characters we have to worry about. Let's just do this. They're all on 10, so let's see how crazy this game gets. I'm gonna move Pam, but Dell. Okay, the temple is not that bad right now. It automatically gets refilled automatically, so it's not that bad, actually. So we can get pretty low before we have to deal with it again. Okay, that's a uh, left. Click on you. Okay, that demon appealed pretty fast. Okay, so the shocking cult is about to appeal. There's a lot of things we got to deal with, so it's going to be pretty problematic. Close that. Over there. Nothing in that place. Awesome. Sorry. We got to shock you. Good old haze. Okay, got to close the door on you. Sorry about that. Left. Teleport you there. Okay, I hold ticking there. We feel this. Oh, I died to Pam. I thought I clicked on the thing. I guess I clicked wrong. Dang it, let's try this again. It's three minutes long, so I can only do this like one more time. But it should be fine. We got this in the bag. What is it I said in every video? We got a hard chance. We got this in the bag. Shock you. Left. I gotta move you. Uh, there's so much going on. I thought I clicked on you. I clicked on you though. Was that the white? Ah, oh, man. Let's try this one more time because I, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, guys. I'm so stupid. Wait, she's already here though. Okay, that's not a bad thing, I suppose. Kind of weird. I wish this game had keybinds though because there isn't, and it's kind of annoying to click everything. But it's fine. It's not the biggest deal breaker for me. Game is fun though. I really like. There's no jump skills because jump skills. Can get pretty annoying. Click on you. Left. Do that. Okay, so a lot of things are going on right now. We feel your temple needle. Okay, I got closed door. You're gone. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, move you. Shock you. Okay, that was bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, that's white hall. Close the door on you. Shock you. Or flash you. Not with the shock. Two shocking animatronics coming up. Or Kelthors. I dang it. You suck. You suck. You suck. Oh my god, I can't deal with that. You see how annoying that can be, guys? Ah, dang it. But guys, that was Split Second and Goals Night. Both amazing games. I'll put the links in the description below so you guys can try them out. And maybe you can beat this uh, game mode. Uh, Goals Night is one of the hardest FNAF fan games out there, so just be well. It's very difficult on all the challenges on hard mode. Like, there's modifiers and stuff. There's also uh, hard mode, which changes every characters. And yeah, it's 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 very hard, but you you guys can do this if you want. But 
if you guys like this video please like and subscribe that'll be a different video i know uh but i will see you guys next time